It is always said that when you have to tell a lie, series of lies will follow. My name is Alabge Kayode and I'm by the newsstand today on Political Matters, OPC TV, Thunders Communication. And I'm here to interview people, as you can see, by the newsstand about topical and debatable issues. First, we'll be talking about the Nigerian Army coming out to say that they've already captured the territory of the, of the Boko Haram in Sambisa Forest. And also the crisis that has been happening in Olu community. We'll be talking about the crisis and the rift between Opo Dima and also Rocha the Krocha. So don't go nowhere. When we come back, we'll be talking to our interviewees. We'll be back. Um, let's quickly go straight to the topic now. Um, there was a viral video of Igbo youths uh, trading away the Fulani headsmen. What's your reaction concerning this? Well, it's, it's, it's a, a welcome development. Not just Igbo youth, the hands um, ECN, ECN, Eastern Security Service. We give them ultimatum on the 14th of um, this month, February, and that lasts last Sunday before last. And uh, anyone that we find there is a meat. We call them a meat because they have to leave. Because that doesn't, it's not their land. And they, we can't allow any bandit to come and leave or do a place or claim any place, any part of our land. It's a welcome development. And more will come. And I pray that my, younger bro my brothers say, no, not, I won't call younger. My brothers in Southwest will do some and push them out here so that we Southerners will be at peace because we have been, at, we have been peaceful people from creation and they will remain peaceful until when this will, when bandits leave our land. Okay. Now let's now let's talk about the Boko Haram. Um, it has been said that the Nigerian army has captured um, the they have their side in the Sambisa forest. What's your action concerning this? First and foremost, um, Nigeria has no truth because the person leading us doesn't is doesn't have truth. He told us when he was taking oath of office that he is going to push Boko Haram in three months' time. And this is four years to five years that he's been in office. Shakao is mounting flat in Medugri. Killing people even as of yesterday, they, there was a, a, a bomb yesterday. So where did they kill the Boko Haram? Where did they chase them out? Nigeria has no truth because the people leading us are, 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 are liars. So we can even our information minister as as um, li, li Mohammed. So everything about them is lies. So there's no truth about them. Boko Haram is mounting, working stronger every day and now. So wh wh where are they bounded? Can Nigeria should have entered um, um, Mr. Forest? No. The only common kid innocent ones that said that they have done anything. Nothing has been done. So if they have done it, let them let them, let them be proof. If they have done that, why did Chakao bomb yesterday? Why did Boko Haram bomb yesterday? If they have already ch chased them and killed them, so not it's a lie. I don't believe them. Okay, now let's go back to the uh, Biafran. Um, this yes. Thing. Let's go back. So what's your what's the latest update concerning the Olu crisis now? The truth is that um, the Imo state, the fool that is ruling Imo state, has claimed that he is the one that invited soldiers, but we know it's wrong. So governor doesn't have rights in soldiers. It is only the federal might that can pull soldiers. He's just trying to pull a rope or a chain on his neck that he's going to backfire tomorrow. Um, or there's a look at uh, development because we are always a winner. The ECN matched them two to two, push soldiers away from the land. And whoever soldier is there now, maybe the one that is in the bar barracks. But as of today, as I'm talking to you, even as I was going, I was watching um, Rochas Ogrocha with a hope, having crisis in that place. And Rochas was even saying that first time in history in Imo State for what do you call it after the war that um, Air Force came and was patrolling Imo State? It has never happened before. After the war, that this is their first time of seeing this kind of thing. That's to say that what we are telling you that about ECN and Nigerian soldiers was truth. So, Richard made a comment that's more this morning from the uh, um, Igbo BBC that I listen to now. So, that is the truth. That the truth is that we, Bear France, have come to be and have come to stay, no going back. So, Nigerian Army or Air Force or whatever cannot stop us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, Mr. Oyema. Now let's go straight into the topic. Um, the, we had the, um, the viral video going online about the um, angry Igbo youths chasing out Fulani headsmen um, from Anambra. What's your reaction to that? Um, I love that for the Igbo youth to chase out the, the Fulani from Anambra um, because the Fulani, they have been killing and uh, kidnapping the, our mother and our children in, the, in Anambra and uh, we, we don't want them in our land anymore because they are occupying our bushes and uh, killing our people so we don't want them anymore because enough is enough um, for them the people of Anambra chasing out the youth chasing out the Fulani from their land that's the very good thing they did because what happened before the the, the evils will never take it again. And uh, we cannot be 
in our land and be afraid of strangers. So let them go to their place and uh, enter into their bush and occupy whatever they want to occupy. So we don't want them in our land because we don't kill anybody and uh, we don't want to harm anybody. But they are these people, they are the people that are killing us. So we cannot be in our place and then we came in and be killing us. Can we run away from our land? Can we run away from our place? It's not possible. So we don't need them anymore. So let them go. That is the main thing. So I love what the youth are doing. We don't want to see even a single of them in Anambra State. So they did a very good job by chasing them out. Okay, now let's talk about uh, the Nigerian army. They have come out to say that um, they've chased out um, the, full, uh, the, uh, what, Sam, the people from Samisa Forest, the Boko Harams from Samisa Forest. Um, what's your reaction to concerning this? That they've taken their territory from the Samisa Forest? It's not possible. The military, the Nigerian military, they are lying. It's not, Nigerian military cannot subdue the Boko Haram because Nigerian military, they are the ones that are employing the Boko Haram into the military. They are the ones that are recruiting them into the military. So how is it possible for Nigerian military to, to take over, to surround the Sambisa forest? Are they not the ones that are in the military? It's the Boko Haram that are in the military now. Nigeria don't have military. Because they will send them there, they will still give them information that the Nigerian military are coming. They will ambush them. So which military we have? We don't have any military. If they are saying that they have taken over the territory in Sambisa forest, they are lying. Nigeria is full of lies. We don't believe in their news. We don't believe anything they are saying in Nigeria anymore. Because this government is a terrorist government. That's the main thing. We don't need anything they are saying. We don't have any military anymore. That's the, the major thing now. We don't have military. Anything concerning military in Nigeria is dead. So the, 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 the most important thing is for everyone to secure himself. We don't have military. We don't have police in Nigeria. There is no police. The police himself, they are afraid. The military, they are, they are afraid. So how can we have military? And the, 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 the uh, 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 Boko Haram have taken over the Sambisa forest and they are sending them to Imo state in, in where there is peace. So they went there to do what? To kill the innocent people. This government is a very stupid government. We don't have any government in Nigeria. We don't have government. So they, we don't want to hear anything government because we, the Nigerian, we don't believe in government. They are full of lies. So they should stop telling us lies. They have taken over Sambisa Forest. Which Sambisa Forest? Which a uh, uh, child came in to, 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 to demolish the, 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 the Boko Haram, kill hundreds of them, which Nigerian, Nigerian military cannot do. But child came in and do what? And, and, and kill hundreds of them and take all the, their, their arms, which Nigeria cannot do for how many years? So which, which, which uh, military we have? We don't have any military. They should stop deceiving us. Okay, so last now let's talk about um, the ongoing crisis between Rocha Dokorucha and um, Opu Dojima. What's your reaction concerning this? <clears throat> I love that drama. It's a very interesting drama. Because they are the one that plan against Ikedion, uh, 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 um, the, 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 the first governor, um, Ikedion, Ikedion. Then now, everything is backfiring against them. If Rochas is having an issue with Opu Zodema, number one, we know that Uzodema, whatever they, they may call him, Uzodema, is not the governor of Imo State. And we don't want to see him. Whatever he did in Imo State, one day they will capture him. So, but the drama that is going on now between Opu Zodema and Rocha, Rochas, I love it so much. Then, if the people of Imo State know how they will fish out that criminal, a froster that the Fulani put there for their own interest, they should know how to fish him out, they should fish him out. Because that man, since he entered, they have not done anything in Imo State. And he's not doing nothing in, in Imo State. So now, he opened a whole governor, opened his mouth to say, that is the one that invited the military to come and kill the innocent people, to, kill, to come and kill his people. I think the world is hearing what he said. A governor invited the military to come and kill 
his people that is ruling. How can a governor say something of that and the governor still sitting? I don't know. I don't know what is going to happen. But that man will never go free. He will never go free. Whatever he did, he must pay for it. So, if he's fighting against Rochas, let the fight. I want the drama to continue. So, let's see where it's going to end. Because they are the one that plan against Ikedioa. Ikedioa. They are the one that plan against him for him to be removed. So, as he's fighting them now, I love that. Even Rochas himself is the, is the father, is the, is the cause of Imo State today. The problem that is going on in Imo State, caused by Rochas, is the one that polluted Imo State. So now, I love the consequences that is facing him now. I love it. As he was arrested, let him be arrested. It's good. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Agrebe, yeah, let's quickly go through the topic. Um, let's first talk about uh, the angry youths in Anambra that have uh, chased out uh, the full and the X-Men from the Anambra. What's your reaction for saying this? Um, the reason why they've been chased out is because of the situation of the country. You know, the things are getting out of hand. And if government does not come into action, it will, soon, it will get more worse. But we are begging on government to do something about it concerning what is going on. Not only in Alnambra, but all throughout the country. You know, people are not happy with what is going on. Now let's talk about the rifts that have been going on between Opu Dodima and uh, Richard Okurucha. What's your reaction concerning this? Uh, I, I don't really know what really uh, the, the problem is. But one thing I know is that they can settle it amicably without even having an issue. If they can come together, oh, this is what you do, this is what I don't like what you do, and you know, they can settle it. They should, be, they, they, be, they should be united so that to move their state, even the country forward. If people could be united, things will work together for good. All this court issue and co, it can be settled in within because um, they are in the same state and uh, I believe community too. Now, finally, let's talk about the Nigerian army. They have come out to say they've already captured the territory of the Boko Haram in Sambisa Forest. Now, I want to get a reaction from Sam. How realistic is this uh, statement from the Nigerian army? Um, according to the European or US standard, I, I believe that if such thing happens, we need to see the, the, the clips or the video of it that they have captured. Just like, um, you know, when America is doing something, even if they don't show now, they will show the clips concerning when uh, Osama was, kidnapped, was uh, killed. We got to know later. So we need to know, we need to see evidence concerning those things because it will help the people of the country, you know, that they are safe. It will make things work. It will make people, when they are working, not to look back, you know, consigning all, you know, what is happening. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Okay, today wrap up today on uh, political matters, OBC TV, Sunday's communication. Um, thank you for watching the show. You have our people have to say concerning the latest updates in Nigeria now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos, and also comment on our videos. When we come back next time, we will talk more about these issues. Bye-bye.